Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So, today we're going to be going over um, just some of the core add ons that I think every player in Classic WoW should get. Um, I'm going to show you the ones that I use, tell you why I use them, as well as um, what you guys. Um, and all their alternatives to what their purpose is in case you want to find it So if you're a new player here, you know You're gonna come into the game and you're gonna see something similar to this screen You know, you'll if you're an orc, you'll see this quest stuff like that um, Your t your bars will be not set. So the first thing that I do um, every single time is going to uh, interface options come here go to action bars I show bottom left and both right bars um, I lock them and have them able to move with shift in case I want to move something just something always always I feel like you should do and then I always turn on auto loot that makes sure that you will your guy will pick up anything that you loot so just a few things that you can do um, you can also enable floating contact floating combat text and turn on these things if you so want to a lot of add-ons do take care of that so we'll get into more detail with that but those are just some of the things that you want to set up as well as key bindings so because it saves my profile all of these bars that i just turned on are bound already to what i normally use um your first bar will be bound one through um 12 and then i like personally to do shift 1 through 12 and control 1 through 12 but i have a razor naga mouse that has 12 buttons on the side so that is something that i just personally like to do but getting into the core add-ons that you're gonna want to have so i here's the list of all the add-ons that i have right now um atlas loot i would 100 percent recommend you get because atlas loot allows you to click here open up this looting table and you can look at every dungeon every raid crafting faction pvp pretty much any type of loot source in the game it'll tell you the levels it's so so nice um in retail there is a dungeon journal atlas loot is pretty much the og one of that and what you can do so like you can be like oh here's a raid we'll look at anixia's lair anixia when i'm 60 if i kill her she can drop all these awesome pieces of gear um, that's just something to have, you know, especially when you're leveling and you go into rage fire for the first time You can look and be like wow those bracers are pretty cool one it two spirit. I'm a mage I'm a warlock. I'm a caster. I'm really gonna want this So just stuff like that that you can really look into plan ahead sort of understand your role in class with that I think Atlas loot is essential for pretty much everyone especially in classic unless you literally know the game so well that you know everything that's gonna drop now one of the most basic auction add-ons that really works for people is auctioneer um, I would recommend getting this this is the um, this is a pretty stable one it makes the auction house so much easier to track data it comes with a ton of other um, neat little add-ons and plugins that sort of help you um, pretty much search everything comes with enchantrix and just a lot of other super super helpful information it'll help your auction house so so much um then details i would definitely recommend getting um details is a add-on that's the box you see right here you can set it to damage done um healing done dispels like you can set it to so many things and it's just sort of nice to analyze your play and sort of see how well you're doing um if you need help analyzing it like if you're really new um, I wouldn't worry too much about this. Um, it's just a really good way to gauge something and sort of understand what you're doing in your role a little bit better, especially if you can analyze the stats. Um, if you're playing, you're probably here because you're playing with a friend. And so just sort of ask that experienced player, someone like that, to say, like, to understand why you're using that and have them walk you through it because it can really, really help you uh, analyze and become a better player. Next, we're going to have probably the most essential add-on for a new player, and that is Questy. So Questy, if you look at my map here, we don't have anything. Like, you don't see any quests. We can just see all these cities and stuff like that, uh, settlements. 
and you don't see that this is a quest like this doesn't appear on the map you only can see quests by going to the people and getting them which makes it super super difficult for a new player because if you're new you don't really know where anything is and so questy is your guide now there are other add-ons like this that sort of help you but we're going to turn it on and i'm going to show you what questy will do for us so it's going to re re reload right here and so now we see questy in full force so this now pops up and shows every single quest that's available to me um that i can just pick up right now as a level one here and if i zoom out it'll show me all the mulgore quests which is the torn starting area if i come over here to undercity it'll show all the undercity quests that i can start and it's just so so nice we'll even what accept this quest right here and there we go it pops up right here <laughs> and we have a quest log and something like that now as you saw there it also instantly completed and accepted it now an add-on that i use for that is easy quest to me i've done all these quests before i know the story i'm just repeating the content if you actually care about it and want to read it and get into the lore i would not recommend taking one of these add-ons um, but it will automatically track except and turn in all your quests so it's just super super nice in that regard um so when we come into economy and sort of items and stuff like that the one that i use the absolute most is trade skill master now this one is a bit complex and takes a bit to set up um, I have a video on that actually to set up. I'll link it in the comment section below. That's more in depth and max level stuff. Um, but what it does is, if you see here, I hover over an item, and every so often my computer will scan the auction house on our server, which is super amazing. But you can hover over this, and it will tell you the vendor price, how many you have in your inventory on all your characters and how much um, it'll sell on the auction house. So obviously someone's selling tough jerky for 455 gold is not worth that, but it skews the uh, regional market value of that just because of that. But as you can see, it scanned 27 minutes ago. TSM is so, so helpful. I know it can be a bit confusing and hard to set up, but if you set it up early and you start to really use it, you will you will love it it'll tell you everything you need to know about it but the main reason we want to set this up is in classic it doesn't tell you the vendor price of weapons and stuff like that so as a new player you're really really going to want to to get any add-on that does that um i'm sure there's a few of them i just use tsm no as car. that tsm also serves as an amazing auction house scanner and um you can use it to sell your auctions as well but auctioneer is a very basic version of tsm that will do everything you need it to do um anyway that sort of covers the entire economy side of things and then something that i found to be super helpful is deadly boss mods so you get this every dungeon you do everything you do in uh, that's considered like of level content right now. It has all the raids loaded um, That you can see right here, but it will also do your dungeons So like if a boss does a mechanic, it'll say move away run away It'll ping a loud noise and that can be so so helpful Especially when you have no idea what you're gonna be hitting with it just gives you a nice easy way to sort of understand that um, now Finally, we have Titan Panel. So I'm going to turn this on and show you exactly what this does. It just gives you a lot of helpful, awesome stats to sort of help your character become better and understand a lot more things. So right here at the top, you see absolutely nothing right now. We're going to press Reload UI, and we will see Titan Panel right here at the top. So what it does is it shows where I'm at. It shows my gold on the server. Um, it doesn't include gold in the mail because I send a lot of mail between my two characters or three characters. Um, we have our bag space, our durability, how much EXP we've earned this session, how long it's going to take us to level, and how much ammo we even have if we're a hunter or a class that uses that. So just so, so much helpful information to really uh, just be at the top of your bar. It doesn't take much to use and it can really help you out so 
that's it for what I believe you should have. Now, two honorable mentions is some form of UI. Um, a lot of people use uh, this add-on called uh, ELV UI, and it's a great add-on. I use it in retail, honestly, when I have played it. Um, and what it does is completely allows you to move everything around, your bars, your map, your health bar, just completely changes the game. You can have it customizable in so many different ways. I chose not to run that on this, as well as the other add-ons I'm going to mention are a bag add-on, as well as a toolbar add-on. So there's add-ons like bartender and a bag. And if you some add-ons like uh, e, ELUVI will come with those add-ons in, in integrated into them so like you would get new bars you would get the bag add-on and it puts all your stuff in one bag and that's just so so helpful um and you can use it if you want i personally chose not to in classic um because i've played retail with it and i wanted to sort of have the classic experience you know going through it playing with those uh sort of base stuff um it was something i never had to do because i didn't start playing until wrath so i've loved every second of classic and sort of just sort of the bare bones playing with a lot of minimal stuff and that's pretty much it guys another thing right here is character stats classic so we're going to turn that on um if we look here and we go into our character, we see just the basic stuff. It shows you your strength, your melee, your range attack. That's all it's going to show you. We turn this on, um, and it will enable us to see so much more. It's great for casters because you can see your spell power instead of having to manually add it up all together. Um, as we see right here, it does all this. It shows base stats, melee, ranged spell defenses and you can swap all of these to be whatever you want it so as a caster i like to be based on spell that's pretty much all you need is that it shows you your crit your hit your spell power just all that awesome awesome stuff um and as you saw every time we reload this pops up as geonosis cast bars and this will let you see your cast bar as well as your um, opponents and targets cast bar. There is a add-on called Classic Cast Bars, which is so much easier than this. I just have Geonosis set up on my guys, so it's pretty easy for me to do it. And so I, um, it helps you see what you're casting and other people casting, which they don't show you in Classic. So it's great for um, higher levels and sort of just knowing what's going to hit you if the po if the uh, person's healing or something like that so anyway guys i think that's it this is my general guide on essential add-ons especially for new players if you at the bare minimum at least get questing and something to vendor it will help you miles especially when you're starting off if you've never done any of this before it will truly truly help you so anyway guys that's it and i really hope you enjoyed this video um and yeah stay safe out there guys like there's some crazy stuff going on in the world uh my state is actually shutting down i live in ohio and we are going on mandatory two-week lockdown starting tonight at midnight this is uh monday march 23rd so it's uh it's gonna be crazy i'm i i hope everyone is okay and safe and just try your best to stay healthy and do your duty to help other people Alrighty, guys i'll see you later Bye bye if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day. And that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.